Without more ado, I'm going to call on our first speaker, Matthew Gardner. Matt is the branch secretary of the Northern Territory's oldest and largest union, but he doesn't have a traditional union background because this fellow spent 10 years in the Defence Force as a combat engineer. He's a man who knows about the construction of the things we'll be talking about. He was diffusing, in his case, landmines in places like Somalia. Then he trained to be a surveyor and spent time working in remote Aboriginal communities. Later he became a registered nurse, which tells us that he wanted to bring care to people. And he worked in Royal Darwin Hospital Emergency emergency department and the operating theatres before working for <coughs> MISOs in the Northern Territory. Thank you. He is now the secretary of a union with a very loud, a very long, proud history of defending Aboriginal rights and he works with other members of trade unions to continue this tradi tradition. Please welcome Matthew Gardner. Thanks, Jeff. Look, it's been a real pleasure to come down here tonight. I know this is the uh, strange enough the second time I've been down here and actually addressed uh, this crowd in this uh, venue as well. Unfortunately, after the last time was actually the last ALP conference, we thought we made some real inroads into this. Unfortunately, enough, it didn't change. In fact, it got worse. Yep. Now, I'm coming down tonight not representing my union, not representing the Trades and Labor Council, not representing the ALP, just representing Territorians, because I live there, my family lives there, my children live there, and they've got to be there for a lot more years to come. Now we reject a nuclear waste dump in the Northern Territory. There's no scientific basis, there's no real basis for it to come down here, and as Jeff said, there's plenty of room down here at uh, Lucas Heights to continue to be held there. Now the positioning of the dump was actually put on a cross because there was a legislative and a constitutional weakness in the Northern Territory. We couldn't say no. And the uh, legislation to come in was specifically designed to target Mucky Station. Now, the Territory getting a waste dump has been rejected, not only by the trade unions, and I must say in the last ACT Congress, I was actually the one who put forward the motion to reject to have a nuclear waste dump in the Northern Territory. That got passed unanimously. That same motion was actually put forward at Unions NT, that also passed unanimously. In the same way, the councils that I'd be affected by this have also rejected the legislation. The NT government, another ALP government, has also rejected that legislation. But unfortunately enough, it still continues on because the Minister, uh, the Federal Government, and the Minister specifically, has targeted Muckney and will continue to target Muckney because of that legislative weakness. <coughs> now, one thing that's really good to see so many people down here today, who's actually from Sydney? Put your hands up. Because that's fantastic. Because one of the really good things we want to see is you getting this message out to other people. Because look around, the pictures on the wall show it is in the middle of nowhere, this is someone's home. We've got to remember that this is someone's home. And you've got to remember too, there's pretty more people live here in one suburb than the entire Northern Territory. So people in Canberra think this is the whole thing about, ah, oh, it's out there, there's no one out there, it's fine. But as I said, this is someone's home. You've got to remember too, the fight is not over. This is still an absolutely live issue for every Territorian. Because the thing is, is this keeps ramming home to us how we, as a society, are treating our own people like second-class citizens. It's an issue, not just for the people of Mucky, all the people of Tannock Creek, all the people of the Northern Territory, but this is an issue for every single Australian. Because if someone's rights are taken away today, whose rights will be tomorrow? Thanks very much, everyone.